Outside Florida's state capital, the young voices that are driving calls for gun reform continue to put pressure on politicians. This is the bill that addresses school safety. Inside the chamber, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act cleared the Senate. It includes money for school security, mental health, and raising the age limit for buying a rifle to 21. For Democrats who are in the minority here, it doesn't go far enough. Is it appropriate to slap the name of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas on the entire bill? Or shouldn't we be passing a bill without their name on it and just saying, hey, this is the best we could do? Because that's honestly how I feel. For many, the most controversial proposal is arming staff in Florida's schools, a measure the state's governor is against. A ban on assault rifles was voted down on Saturday. There's not a single teacher, there's not a single student that I've spoken to over the past several days about this topic that thinks it's a good idea to introduce more guns into our classrooms. 17 people were killed at the school in Parkland. Parents who lost children in the shooting had a simple message for politicians. This time must be different and we demand action. We come from different backgrounds and hold a variety of viewpoints. Yet we are united on this. No family should endure what we have endured. What happened in Parkland almost three weeks ago has led to a nationwide debate on gun control. It's long been a divisive issue, but increasingly the U.S. public is in favor of gun reform and political action. So far, that's been slow in coming. The bill will now go to Florida's House of Representatives in the hopes it will reach the governor's desk by Friday. Governor Scott has said he won't approve arming teachers. That's a sentiment echoed by the survivors of the school shooting. But their desire to see assault rifles banned is now off the table. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Tallahassee, Florida.